In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your network adapters uh, so that you can communicate with your software. So if you've never done this before, just follow along. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, each way. And then we're also going to make a shortcut uh, so that you won't have to go back through these same steps again to make it easier. So first of all, we're going to go down here, go down, uh, enter our system tray. We're going to click on this right here. And where you see these bars here, that there is our uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, so we're going to click on that. And it's going to bring us up this window. Now uh, we're going to open the Open Network and Sharing Center. Then we're going to go to Change Adapter Settings. Then this is the one we want to be in, is this Local Area Connection. That will be the adapter that controls the hardwired uh, port on the laptop. So we want to double click in there, go to properties, then go down to the uh, the one that says internet protocol version 4, it's TCP slash IPv4. We want to double click on that. And in here, what we want to do is uh, we'll set our uh, IP address in here. Uh, for what we need to communicate with. So in here, for this class, here's what we're going to set it for. This will be what it's always set for uh, for every uh, task that we perform in class. So it's going to be a 192.168.1.199 as the IP address. And the subnet mask is going to be a 255.255.255.0. Now as you can see, uh, this use the following IP address means that you're going to tell it you're going to use this. So you're manually setting this IP address. So that's considered a static IP address. If you use the obtain an IP address automatically, it will erase this right here and it will find when you connect to a network, it will automatically give you an IP address. So we don't have a, and that's considered uh, automatic would also be considered DHCP. So we're not going to be using a DHCP server in anything that we use. So we're going to go back to this use the following IP address, which is static or manual. And we're going to retype our IP address. And then we're going to click OK. Always make sure that when you, when you change this setting, Never hit the cancel button. If you hit the cancel button, it will wipe out the settings that you just put in and it'll revert back to what it was before. So always hit the OK. OKs or close is, is what you want to see. Never hit the cancel unless you don't want the settings to uh, stay. So anyway, so now we have our Ethernet adapter uh, configured uh, for connectivity to a uh, processor. So that's the first part of it. Uh, the next part is we want to uh, have a shortcut on our desktop. So there's a couple ways of doing this, but the easiest way is coming here to this local area connection. Again, that's the wired connection. And we just want to click on it and drag it out. And there we go. We have a shortcut now. I already have a shortcut here on my desktop, so that's why it gave it a local area connection shortcut with the with the two beside of it because it's the second connection but that's all you should have to do is drag that out uh, and that will give you a shortcut uh, you could also go to, uh, right click on the local area connection and hit create shortcut it's going to tell you that it cannot create the shortcut here and what it's trying to do is put it here uh, in this window uh, so what you're going to do is it's going to say do you want to put a shortcut on the desktop instead? So you're going to hit yes. So again, that's going to give us another shortcut, but now see it's number three. So with that being said, you've seen two different ways of putting the shortcut on the desktop. So now let's go ahead and get rid of my extras that I got uh, because there's no need in having all those extras. And then the other way to get to where we went, remember the first way we went was to here and to right here to get to our Ethernet adapter settings. 
All right, so this way I'm going to show you that you can go down to the Windows button, which is the Start, go to Control Panel, go to Network and Internet, go to Network and Sharing Center, and go to Change Adapter Settings. And here's the same place we were at earlier. It's just a different way to get there. But once you get there, either, either way you go, uh, just make sure you create a shortcut on your desktop uh, by the, any one of the two methods that I showed you. And that way you don't have to go back down this path again. Alright, so if you have any questions, please let me know.